All right, everybody, we are back. We are here for our first big question. This is, of course, Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, a Q&A series. We've got, I think, five or six questions here. So if you've just stumbled into this video and you haven't seen the, the preamble video, don't worry about it. You're here to watch this video to get this answer to this question, and we are going to answer this user question right now. So the first question that comes up is from Cuisined. Sounds like the kind of uh, channel I would like. Hi, Joseph. I'm a Linda member. Excellent. And I've seen your fantastic video on the GH5. Thank you. I bought mine today with the Olympus 12 to 40 plus Rode Link Wireless, and it's a beast. I'm going to assume that's beast in a good way. I'm trying to get constant exposure while in movie mode, and I'm puzzled. How do you go about doing that? When I turn my camera up, the exposure changes, and it drives me something. Um, I have a T2i, married with the Emblem firmware, so much easier. Also about sand. Okay, and then there's a question about memory disk. Memory disk questions. There is a. There's going to be another video about memory disk. So, cuisined. If you came here for that part of the question, there's another video about about cards, memory disk, memory cards. Uh, but let's ask your question about the exposure. So, as I understand the question, the problem that you're having is you're in manual exposure mode, but the exposure isn't consistent. It's just something that's still changing automatically. I'm going to venture a guess. And obviously, without having your camera in hand, I don't know, but I'm going to venture a guess that the problem is you're in auto ISO. I think this is a pretty easy mistake to make because auto ISO is something you didn't have in video in the GH4. Um, that's a new feature to the GH5. I hope that I'm speaking correctly here. I'm pretty sure that's right. But, um, but it's one of those things that you may not be used to, especially if you came from the GH4. So if auto ISO is on, then you set you know, 180 degree shutter or 60th of a second shutter speed or whatever you're shooting and the aperture you're shooting, you set it to and you go, okay, well, that's too bright, too dark. So you stop down the lens, you open up the lens and the exposure isn't changing. It's because the ISO is changing along with it. So what you want to do is go into your ISO settings. Let me plug this thing back in here. Go into your ISO settings and make sure that that is set to automatic, uh, set to not automatic, set to manual. So I'm going to start by putting the camera into video mode here. So let's get a little close-up camera here. So I'm going to switch this thing over to video mode. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. So we're in full, full, cre it's called creative movie mode, I think. We're in full creative movie mode now. And then I will, let's go back, let's go to this screen. You see up in the top left, it says uh, M, that's for manual. If I tap on that, I can choose my exposure mode, right? So I've got my full program, pull, you know, all auto exposure, and you know, P is not for professional. And then aperture priority, shutter priority, and full manual. Okay, so we got to go full manual in here. But now, if I hit the ISO button, so this, of course, is going to be the button on the top of the camera in front of the shutter, or behind the shutter button, depending on your point of view. Um, there you go. There's the ISO button. So if we push the ISO button, we now are in auto ISO. So I'm going to leave it in auto ISO for a moment just to show you the effect. So here's, I'm going to focus on my sponsor's cup here. Uh, not sponsoring today's show, but... They still get a little shout out. Okay, so here we're looking at this, and I'd say the shot's a little overexposed, right? So I am going to adjust my, actually, let me set the shutter angle to 180. Let's get a proper shutter angle there. And now as I adjust my aperture, see how the exposure is not changing? It's like it changes briefly and then it goes back. You're getting a little vignetting, and that's just a natural vignetting of the lens, but the exposure is not changing. You look at the bottom left, you'll see my aperture changing. There's F9, there's F7. There's a five, like what? What's going on here? It's because the ISO is changing along with it. Now, this is a very fair point, and this is something that personally annoys me, and I have asked Panasonic to add this in. Um, as far as I know, it's not showing up on the version two, at least it wasn't included in the list, but I want to see the camera displaying what ISO it has selected when I'm in auto ISO. I want to see what it's selected for any setting when it's in auto, but auto ISO is something that it doesn't do. So right now, I don't know what the ISO has chosen, and that I find personally annoying. So I have made a request. I know there was a comment in that I came across asking me to make that request. I made that request a long time ago. Hopefully, we'll see that one of these days. But let's go back into the, oh, not to the close, let's go back to this. And now I'm going to go into the ISO. And now let's set this to, say, 400. I'll choose a nice solid 400 on there. And now, as I change my aperture, the exposure is actually changing because, of course, I have now locked everything in. So that is the problem that you're running into. I am very confident that that's the case, and hopefully that is, in fact, the answer the cuisine was looking for. All right, we're going to move on to the next question, which is going to break out to another video, so uh, sit tight. We'll be right back with that question.